Good day viewers, Sep here. What I thought we'd do today is we're going to drag out my old Rover Rancher right on lawnmower. It's a 1965 model. We're going to drag it out of the shed. It hasn't been started for, I don't know how many years, but a long time. And we're going to see if we can get it running. Here it is here, this is where it lives. As you can see, it hasn't been moved for a fair while. The magpies that get in here when it gets really wet, heavy rain, they've been sleeping on here. So let's get it out and let's get into it. Let's have a look at it. given to me as a gift for my 40th birthday. When I received the mower, the engine was in bits. Apparently it had seized after it was started and before it was given to me. So the person gave it to me in bits and I had to put it together, which I did. It had a few scores in the bore and we left it and it's been like that ever since. So yeah, so I've had it for 25 years. Has been started for I don't know how many years, and we'll see how we go. So the first thing we better do is you better check to see if there's any oil in it. Actually, oil's pretty good. Looks pretty clear. I used to look after it pretty well, but like I said, it's been a few years since it's been running, so I'll leave that. Now, the next thing we better do is we might put some fuel in it. Oh, it's got some really old stuff in there, geez. I think what we might do first is we might drain that fuel out because it's been several years it's been in there. So we might get a few things and drain that out first. Okay, let's undo the fuel line. Get that fuel out first. Put some fresh fuel in it. This actually is a later model tank. The white one that was originally on there it started melting the bottom of the plastic. They reckon it's because of the modern fuels. So I managed to scrounge this up from a mower place. And it was, I was lucky he had something that would fit. He scrounged around his shop, got on his hands and knees, got down his belly under a, um, a shelf and found it for me. plug and just see what's going on in there. Right. The plug's dry as a bone. So there's no fuel getting in there. Let's see if this fires. Okay. 
Well, right, there's plenty of fuel in that bolt. It's pouring out there. So I'm starting to wonder if it's a spark. We've got the spark plug tester here. So let's attach it and see if we can see a spark. Hopefully we'll be able to sun right now. We'll not be able to see that real well because the sun. We'll see. Maybe. Not quite see it. No spark. I've put the spark plug up against the body there to see if I can see a little bit easier there's definitely no spark coming out there so we're going to need further investigation okay so we might take the top of this off and see what we can find Okay, we're ready to lift it off. It should just lift out. There it comes. All right, let's see what we can see. All right, the first thing I might do I'll give you a quick look. We might get that earth wire off. Just make sure that's okay. That earth wire there. Try the earth first and see if that makes a difference. And then we'll go from there. This actually doesn't look too bad. surprised at. We'll give it a clean up anyway. But I've got a feeling that ain't going to be the problem. So let's get this coil off. We'll have a close look at the wires underneath it. Okay, I've just finished cleaning off that earth here on the top. I've cleaned the earth off here and a little bit underneath there. You might not be able to see that. Cleaned up underneath there. And also I've looked at these wires here and they're all intact. So at this point, the, 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 obviously there's a wire that goes in underneath the, the top of the engine there. And um, but these ones all look okay. So. This actually looks okay in the end, it's hard to tell though, so I might have to investigate checking this with an ohms meter and uh, see if I can pick out anything there whether this is actually faulty or whether that's okay and it's further in down there, so we might put it back on as it is and uh, just see how it goes now we've cleaned the earth just for a start. I'll get the ohms meter and have a look at that as well. And then we might just put a little bit of, actually that feels pretty good, a little bit of lubrication in that. 
normally put a little bit of WD-40 in the top. Got a series of ball bearings in the bottom. Let's take that back so I don't squirt it a bit. It has ball bearings in there and they can stiffen up. And then the rope doesn't retrieve on your pull start. So I've had trouble with this many years ago. So I like to keep that well lubricated, but it's pretty good. Normally if it wasn't going to work properly, it'd be really stiff to turn this. But it's pretty good at the moment. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to check the resistance of this coil pack. And I've got a feeling this could be the problem. So we put the um, positive lead into the, the cap for the goes on the spark plug. And we put the black one down to earth, coil pack earth, which we use that one. That's not getting the reading at all. And just to make sure that's reading. That's reading okay. Let's try it once more. Making sure we get a good connection. Try this side here, doesn't make any difference. No. So that'll be our problem, no spark. So the call pack's no good. So that means we'll be coming back to another day to finish off this video. And this will have to come off. Next part of the process.